Oh, okay. Well, that one I did at least. And this is going to be the data. So it will be matched with the column header, which will act as like a title when sending it, when this auto email confirmation goes out. End the column, end the row, and now all I have to do is return the table. And now I'm going to go ahead and make a function to create the actual email. Uh, this one's going to have the HTML of it in, the HTML in it. And I have a code pin open up at the top, which I'm about to jump to, because uh, I already have a simple email template that I wanted to use. that I have to go get. Yep. So there's the example, info, example, info, example. Um, a nice font awesome icon for a picture. One of the most frustrating parts of this is uh, entering all the HTML as a string. I just use uh, a, that's a, what is Forward slash? Right? That should be a forward slash. Backward slash? Backslash. Think of backslash. Um, I use that to continue the string at the line of, at the end of each line of uh, JavaScript when I want to continue. Inside the HTML, I only used double, double quotes, not double piece, double quotes. Um, and, or, wait, isn't this victory too if I'm Nixon? Uh, and, Outside, in the JavaScript, I'm using a single quote to establish it as a string. I'll break it off when I want to enter my variables or my uh, my arguments, which I'm going to realize in a second. I need to add parameters to this function. Oh, I... Parameters. Maybe I just need the one table unless I make the subject a parameter or the title. It looks like I will make title a parameter. Maybe not. Oh, I will make it a variable. Makes it a bit, bit easier to change. we are. Title. Okay, and I bet tables next. I'm going to delete the, uh, the table I had in there as my example. Add table. I'm going to pass in the table as an argument when I make my main function. And now I'm just formatting the HTML, obviously, trying to get it all established as a string uh, so I can output it correctly. Mm -hmm. 
Once I get this done, I'm about to do a return for the HTML so I can pass it off to the mail mail app is uh, I believe what I use the mail app function to actually shoot off the email. That looks good. All right. Yeah, here we are. I'm returning the HTML. My monitors just went to sleep. Good. <laughs> All right. And finally, we are at the main function, which I am going to comment to let you know it's the it's the main function, and I and I bet I even name it the main function, but you know, useful comments, they're, they're key. <laughs> yes, perfect, good, good, that's only slightly redundant. Although granted, my create email comment is, is also slightly redundant. Uh -huh. Variable header, which is going to be the variable that is returned from my get header function. I bet variable data is going to be the data returned from my get data function. Keeping it logical and simple. And then variable table from my get table. Oh, from my make table function. Ooh, that one was tricky. From my make table function. And this one I do need to remember to enter arguments for. And finally, my mail app function. And I'm going to enter nine spaces for... Oh, it's yeah, it's just to get a better view of it. So, mail app with the method of send lights. Come on. Okay. Uh, with the um, mail app with the method of send email... And then I establish my uh, data 07 is going to be the actual email. Form confirmation is going to be the subject of this email. And I think, although this is going to be incorrect when I'm debugging, I notice this, that HTML will, let, will just be the body of the email. It's actually going to send that, though, as text. So I have to use... Uh, the optional... What do they call it? Advanced parameters or something like that for the HTML. Ah, and then lastly, what I do is I get the range and then I get the last row of the sheet because that's going to be the one that we just output. And I'm going to write, uh, I'm going to have it output send in the last column. It's an easy way to keep track of it's an easy way to keep track of the code performing correctly and what it has sent out. Yes. And then I'm just going to flush. Oh, yep. 
I'm going to cut this off right here. Um, I'm about to hit run, and it's not going to work. I need to do some debugging. Uh, my biggest thing was the send email, sending out the HTML script, but I also miscounted some. I'm establishing that as the column for send. I miscounted. I also miscounted some. If you want to see me debug and see it actually working, uh, just continue on to the next video. I'm going to put the link probably somewhere over there. Wait, over there. Yeah, that's the direction. I had to look at the camera for this.